here we go again hello and welcome back to the channel how are you guys doing how are your wallets are they empty I'm sure they are a lot lighter after this year's Hasbro's pre-order. But anyway, in today's video I have another Hasbro Pulse Black Series haul for you guys. Same as always, this will be another unboxing video. Because I always love to share with you guys what new figures I got for my collection and so that you can know what to expect next on the channel. Hasbro Pulse EU has this uh, silly system where you order a bunch of figures and and they treat it as one order but then when uh, a single figure from that bunch comes in stock they ship to you that single figure in a single box and so instead of taking all of these figures and shipping them in one packaging they decided to send me a lot of single boxes and that is why today's haul looks like this so we're gonna open up all of these boxes and we're gonna see what's on the inside. We're gonna go from the smallest one to the largest one. As always, we're gonna use our trusty cutter. I, I didn't do a good job, so I'll try to be more precise. There we go. We have a piece of paper, but behind that piece of paper, we have our professor. Professor Hu Yang, that is. Now this is a great looking figure. Professor Hu Yang from the new Ahsoka series. This is a figure that a lot of us wanted ever since we saw him in the show. And I know that it's not 100% accurate because of the paint job that they did on the figure. This guy should be a bit more metallic, but here he's much more of a cream color. And uh, that's something uh, that is actually more accurate to the Clone Wars series. I mean, still, it's the same character, it's a great character, a great looking figure, and he does come with few of his uh, accessories that will be great for a display and for a posing video, of course. I'm happy to add Professor Hu Yang to my collection. Let's move on to the next box. Look at this, all of this empty space for just one figure. But you know, at least it's secured, so the box is not damaged. And uh, yeah, here we have another figure from Ahsoka series, and that is Merrick. Now when I see this figure in person, I have to say that uh, still, I still have the same issues that I had when I saw the promo shots. The figure should be darker and that orange weathering is just not doing it for me. That orange paint is all over the place, even on the places where it probably shouldn't be if it's supposed to represent rust, but uh, it is what it is. It's a nice looking figure. It's a new sculpt, a new character, another inquisitor type character that we can add to our shelves. And uh, I mean, I'm expecting a lot of great poses from this figure, especially because it's coming with a soft goods cape that is removable as well. So we have some posing options in there and uh, yeah, I think that uh, it will be great. It's number 8 in the Ahsoka line and Professor Hu Yang is number 7. So these two go great together. Here is a side art mural. I love these uh, side illustrations. Unfortunately, I mean, I'm not collecting all of the figures. I don't get all of them to complete the mural, but uh, this is a nice design for people who like to display their boxes as well. I mean, I am doing that, as you can see behind me, but that is strictly because I'm out of room to display my figures out of the box. I'll do that one day, hopefully, but for now, this is how it is. Let's move on to the next box. Okay, so here we have a figure that was still released at the time when they were doing the plastic-free packaging. And it is Omega. This is their new Omega from the second season of The Bad Batch. This is practically the only figure from the second season of The Bad Batch that uh, I wanted to get for my collection. I have all of the characters from the first season, but that Omega was just... I don't know. They gave her the look from the first episode and that was it. This one is kind of much more accurate, much more complete. She comes with uh, two head sculpts, an alternate 
alternate face so that from what I saw you can take one of those head sculpts and give it to the first Omega. And that's probably something that I will do, that's why I got this figure. I'm satisfied with uh, what they did on this second version. Yeah, she will be a great addition to my existing Bad Batch collection. Next! <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I pre-ordered another MagnaGuard because I wanted to have two of these guys flanking my General Grievous. This figure has some issues, but recently I made a review for this figure and I also recorded a posing video. I'm not sure how the schedule will work for this week, so I don't know if you guys are seeing this video first or that posing video. But after posing this guy, I have to say that uh, the figure as I said, although it has some issues, it's still a phenomenal figure. It can be kind of difficult to pose it because the figure does tend to fall a lot, but if you use uh, some kind of stand or even if you manage to pose him in a kind of uh, secure vanilla pose, both feet flat on the ground, you know, this figure looks fantastic. It comes with great accessories, it looks good, it uses soft goods material for the cape. I mean, the thing is that when when you have these kinds of uh, slim droids, B1 droids, these guys, even K2 droids with those slim long legs, you know, it's a matter of design. It's not like it's Hasbro's fault, you know, they are trying to duplicate what we see on the screen. So, taking all that into consideration, I think that they really did a great job with all of those droids and same goes for this MagnaGuard. I'm really just happy to get more of Separatist droids. We are slowly moving away from having just B1 battle droids, you know, so this is a nice addition. The figure should be larger, taller, bigger, probably, you know, so the scale is kind of an issue, but uh, as you guys know with Balin and Shin, this is not a worst case case of scale being wrong in this line. I'm just gonna say that. But another Magna Guard is now part of my collection. It's great to have two of these to go along with your General Grievous. And then finally we have a large box. Look at this. So much space and so much paper on the inside. And all of this is uh, just for one figure. And that is General Hera Syndulla from Ahsoka series. Man, this figure looks good when you see it in person. The face print looks beautiful. Another thing is that this is my first Hera figure that I have in my collection. I said it before, I missed out on uh, some of the Rebel figures from the cartoon show, but now I'm finally completing the team with these live action versions of the characters and uh, I love it. Hera Syndulla is number six in the uh, Ahsoka line and uh, she doesn't come with much. She comes with her little pistol blaster. That's still one accessory more than what comes with Morgan Elsbeth, right? Can't wait to review her and uh, to pose her for my posing video. And again, here we can see the side art mural because these three go together. And so, as I said, I already reviewed and posed MagnaGuard, but the rest of these will be on the channel soon, so stay tuned for that. So again, I have a lot of work to do because if you are a follower of the channel, you know how many times in the last couple of weeks I've made this kind of unboxing video. It is just overwhelming. New figures are coming in and at the same time I'm working on the previous ones that I showed you here that I got. So I'm kind of all over the place. I'm doing my best to give you guys all of this content as soon as I can. But again, be patient with me. I still have to do all of the others. The Malgus, uh, Chrysanthemum, Malek, uh, Bastila Shaw. I mean, I have a lot of them to record. So stay tuned for all of that plus all of these new ones check out some of my other videos. I mean, there are a lot of them on the channel. I'm sure you'll find something that uh, you will enjoy in. There are reviews, there are posing videos, you know, take some maybe inspiration from those. And uh, me, I'm gonna get back to work. Thank you all for watching and I'll see ya in the next video.